just about any iconic photo taken at Lakers or Dodger games in the last, oh, 40 years were no doubt captured by famed photographers Andy Bernstein or John Suhu. Both men celebrated their story careers together recently at a fundraiser at the Pasadena Ice House, Ice House excuse me, which included a discussion panel with Lakers and Dodger legends. John and I are teaming up to help the South Pasadena Arts Council Spark raise money. It's our, it's our yearly gala fundraiser. We're excited to show our photography, to have a great panel discussion with some great legends, and I get to do something with my buddy here. We met at the LA Sports Arena yeah. when there was a sports arena, not a soccer field. Right. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and it was a changeover between the LA uh, USC women's basketball and the Clippers. I sat down to shoot the game, the SC game, and then he, he sat down next to me to shoot the Clipper game in between. We just started talking. I think, and I was, I think it was checking your credential to make sure you were good. It no, was I'm not good. good. <laughs> it was not good. It's kind of like not real. It's kind of feels kind of not real right now because yeah. it's just part of our day. It's just part of what we shot and how it went. And it was just it's amazing what they look like actually blown up. <laughs> well, he's being humble because what we live for is to give the fans some joy and to remember iconic moments. You know, look at all the moments that this guy has shot. Gibson's home run, Hershiser's streak, right? Vin's waving goodbye, um, the bubble in 2020, you know, and, and then myself as well. You're talking about two of the best, uh, and, and they captured some moments of both of us and, and our teammates uh, back in the 80s that are, are very memorable. So when you walk around here and you see some of these pictures, it brings back a lot of memories. Andy was kind of unusual because there were certain looks he needed you to have and some kind of way he was always able to bring that out. You know, shooting uh, athletes is a different thing, especially when, you, when they're out there playing is different, but Andy was able to get the best out of us one-on-one -on -one, uh, and the pictures that he really wanted and, and to capture. From the action shots to the pose shots, uh, there's some fantastic stuff. Some facial expressions I'm not gonna make on TV are on some of these pictures. You go on YouTube and you can look at all the highlights of yeah. all those days as you can barely see, make out anything. That's but true. our photos are tax sharp. You see exactly what we went through and the images are clear and they're, they're to the point. Yeah. There's a story behind it that you don't see on these old videos. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we, we pride ourselves in really capturing a moment in time, you know, a moment that will never happen again. Um, that's our job is to be there to capture those moments and you know John has missed a few I've missed a few we don't want to remember those we want to remember these so we're still missing them but. yeah we're still missing them. <laughs> John and Andy not just gifted photographers but also incredible humans as well